Hey guys, I thought I would spend a little bit of time and show folks, because I get asked pretty often uh, how I manage my D&D and Savage Worlds and Deadlands, basically all RPG games in Discord. And so I just wanted to uh, go over it real quick and help people to understand what I've done. It's, it's pretty easy to uh, manage everything in Discord, especially stuff that's away from the table. So... Uh, for my online games is where really I ran into Discord and started using it, mostly because of the voice chat. Because when we do online games, we use Fantasy Grounds, and they don't have a built-in uh, voice chat feature. So I needed a place where players could talk during our online game. And after research and stuff, looked at Skype and a bunch of other options, it just looked like Discord was going to be the best thing for us. And thank goodness that it was, because it turns out that Discord is a very robust tool, and it works very nicely for RPGs. I, I've got a lot of different um, channels here, and I wanted to just show you guys real quickly uh, why I set up my servers the way that I do. First and foremost, I've got all of my different uh, RPG games are over here. And um, you can see they just each have a little bit of a different title so that I know exactly what's going on. But if you notice here, here's two D&D &D games that I'm going to use as examples. So this first one, it says D&D &D FGU. That's uh, Fantasy Grounds, right? Fantasy Grounds Unity, which is the latest version. So that way I quickly know this is my online group. And then the one right below it, D&D &D Local. So this is my local tabletop group. And so I've got one for each of these guys, obviously, and um, you can just bounce back and forth between them. But uh, what I wanted to show you is each, like I said uh, earlier, each of the different channels that I've got here and why I chose them. So obviously, the first thing is there's categories and the category here, game on. This is basically everything to do with our game. And so I, I like to be a little bit of a stickler with that. If somebody's just shooting the breeze and wants to put messages in here because we're all friends as well, I uh, push them to the lizard lounge, which is down here in an area that we call the lobby. And the lobby also holds our bot, lot, uh, bot logs, which is a uh, channel that only I have access to and also the bots do. And basically it just gives all kinds of information about what's going on with the Discord server. The AFK uh, channel here, that's a voice channel, and basically that's away from keyboard. That's just what happens if you're in the voice chat and you sit in there for more than five minutes without uh, doing anything on your machine, then it pops you over here so that you're not uh, taking up the voice chat. So that's, that's what the lobby area is and what those are. But essentially, so our first uh, channel is campaign. This is everything campaign related. And honestly, I mean, I'll, I, I, there's tons of stuff in here, right? I give information about the game and uh, especially between game sessions, we do a lot of talking in here. Uh, we try to avoid meta gaming, obviously, but we still do a lot of uh, talking and planning and things like that. One of the most important things that I use this channel for is this simple message here, which I do before every game, just as kind of a reminder to everybody, first off, hey, we've got a game tomorrow night, but also for me as a DM or GM to make sure that I know who all is going to be at the game. So I just put a message like, and you can see here, I've tagged everyone, which is not a good thing to do in Discord, but when you've only got six people in your server, it's no big deal. So I just ask, is everyone good for gaming tomorrow night? And then they give a thumbs up if uh, they're able to make it to the game. Sometimes people will chime in here and say, hey, I'm not going to be able to make it because of this, that, or the other. And that's just additional information that we have for it. But that's primarily what I use the campaign channel for. Then we've got maps and handouts. And in maps and handouts, I mean, this is just in an area that is perfect for me to be able, whenever we do, whenever we do a map or um, any kind of handout for the game, you know, like when I'm running my uh, Deadlands game, for instance, right? Handouts might have like handwritten notes and things like that that they get or certificates and then also maps. So that's why I say maps and handouts. This is just basically a spot where I can put images that are going to pertain to the game, right? And so, for instance, our group in this one game is uh, doing a lot of work in Fandolin and stuff like that. So I included a map of Fandolin in here. That way, during the week when we're between games and stuff like that, players at any time 
can come in here and peruse the maps and stuff and familiarize themselves with it. So that's what I use that for. Here's an interesting one. So we've got this thing called journal. And actually, um, I end up uh, in the journal um, putting a lot of information in here for the players uh, between games. But also, one of our players, in this case, it's this guy, James, and he plays the character Uvlin in this. He gets inspiration every week. At me as DM, I give him an inspiration because he fills out this journal. I mean, he just puts tons of stuff about the game because that's his bailiwick. You know, he just digs that. He likes uh, immersing himself in the game and writing about all the stories and stuff that we've done. But you notice I'm taking advantage of a, a new uh, technology or a new uh, addition to Discord, and that is threads. So when you're in the journal, um, you can click this threads button and then say archive. And, and we've got previous journal entries. And the way we organize them is we put a date in there and then a little bit of title in there that, um, that helps. But each night before we have a gaming session, I create a brand new thread and name it today's date. And then James goes in here, and anybody else, by the way, who feels like adding anything to the journal, they add it here instead of here. And the reason for that is because uh, James was writing so much, it was almost like a book. So it, it got too convoluted. So we use these threads to be the deep dive into what happened. And then in journal, what James does is he just puts bullet points after our game pulled out of his thread, which is, like I said, a book. It's almost like the, just the very shortened summary version of what he's got. But then this journal just stays filled with that. So anybody can review our previous games by going back through the journal. And like I said, I like to uh, give James inspiration every time because it's very handy having him type into the journal. Here's an interesting uh, channel. This is called the Dice Tray. And essentially, uh, I've just added a bot. I have a couple bots that I've added to the game, right? Um, Dino I use because it's very good for managing the server and stuff like that. But I also have this one called Dice Maiden. And what that allows you to do is roll dice in here. A lot of times you don't really need that. But when we're between sessions, maybe I decide, hey, I want to know if these guys actually think of this. So I just tell the whole party, you know, um, roll inspiration. So I'll just do like, um, I said roll inspiration. I did not mean roll inspiration. I meant, per, let's say perception. And what will happen, uh, probably not in the time of this video, but my players throughout the week will read this message and then they'll use Dice Maiden and they'll roll a uh, um, roll based on what their perception is. And then I can use that between table games and uh, utilize those dice rolls. We can also do it during the game, but um, my tabletop games, obviously everybody has dice. And in the Fantasy Grounds one, Fantasy Grounds is a great tool for uh, the whole game experience at the table, including dice rolling. So we don't have to worry about it then. Really, this is for between or just if people want to fool around with dice. It's just kind of a fun tool to have. Um, and then, obviously, everybody knows what voice chat is, right? This is just a place where when we are gaming, we can go in here. What I have done, though, is I've added an additional voice chat, and I call it private voice chat. And this is really handy. Um, I don't have it segregated. You don't see the little lock there saying that this is a actual private channel. We work on the honor system, and plus the fact that when you're in voice chat, you can see everybody who's in there, right? So... Um, what happens is if my whole party's in voice chat and I decide, ooh, I've got to say something just to Emarius. Well, then I'll tell Emarius in the voice chat, hey, pop over to private VC real quick. And he'll pop over to this one and then it'll just be me and him. The rest of the party will still be in voice chat and I can say something real quick to him. Obviously, because we're in Discord, the other option would be I could just go over to uh, Emarius and click on his... Um, connection uh, or, or his uh, PM thing here and send him a conversation. But that gets a little bit tedious sometimes in game. It's much easier just to go into chat and um, 
have a quick conversation with somebody. Then we both pop back to voice chat. Another thing that I've added on my server is private notes. And each one of these you see have the little lock. And that's because um, each of these channels is um, has permissions enabled on it. And so they're basically, each channel is private for each of the individual people that are in there. So I've got a GM notes one. I'm the only one who has access to this. I can take special notes in here and just remind myself of things for the game or something like that, or, or talk about something about the character that I want to know or something that's going to happen in game. And this is a handy place for me to be able to go back through my notes. Same thing goes for all the players. This is a spot where that one player and me as the uh, DM GM have access to. So they can either write notes specifically to me where I can respond or they can also just write notes that they like to keep and everything. Uh, the only thing that they need to know is that I have access to them too. So if they're saying bad things about the GM, they shouldn't be putting them in here. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so we already talked about the lobby. That's the Lizard Lounge. This is just a place to shoot the shit. Basically, we uh, do all kinds of stuff in there where we just talk as friends and uh, do camaraderie. This, in a nutshell, is my Discord server. And um, the last thing that I wanted to go over is there's another new thing that Discord has added, and that is something that they've needed for so long, server template. The cool thing about this is I can perfect a uh, channel for RPGs, right? And then I have the option to copy a template of the server that I have here so that I can easily make other games over here by just using that template and it'll give me all of these, but it'll give it to me without all the data in the fields and everything. All, none of the channels will be populated with data, so it'll give me a blank sheet basically, which is fantastic. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. Uh, chime in, definitely uh, like and subscribe if you dig, but uh, chime in below in your comments and just tell me what kinds of things you're doing in your Discord channel or what you're using to uh, manage between uh, game sessions for your games. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.